sticky toffee pudding. If you're from Britain, this is very common, and I'm sure you know exactly what it is. Few Americans do, however, although I think it's becoming more popular now. Um, we're going to start by taking three quarters of a cup of chopped dates. Now, if you're not familiar with dates, they are so delicious. They're very sweet. They're just wonderful. You should try some. Uh, and I have a teaspoon of baking soda, which I'm putting on top of those. And then I'm going to add one and a quarter cup of boiling water on top of these dates. This is going to plump them up. One and a quarter cups. There we go. And give those a mix. I'm going to set those aside. I have ready a 10 inch square baking pan. You can use a 10 inch round uh, cake pan if you wish to instead of a square. I just happen to have this one. And I've buttered it gen uh, generously as you can see. Now in my mixer, I have four tablespoons of very soft room softened butter and three quarters of a cup of sugar. And I'm just gonna mix those up until they get light and fluffy. In the meantime, I have one cup plus one tablespoon of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to mix those together. I also have one egg and I'm going to use one teaspoon of, in this case, my homemade vanilla, but you can use your regular vanilla if you wish. This is really an easy recipe. I've got my oven on at 350 degrees. And it's going to bake for, let me just check, 30 to 35 minutes. Um, I made it the other day and it took about 32. So it really depends. Okay, that's good. We'll take this off and then we'll add the egg and the vanilla. Give that a mix. Got a little vanilla on the counter. Ah, I'll smell like a sugar cookie all day. Just give that a mix. The thing that is so wonderful about this pudding is that we're gonna bake the pudding and it's just a pudding, but the sauce that we're gonna make afterwards that you serve on top that really makes it sticky, that's to die for. Then the flour all goes in. And lastly, we're going to add all of these dates along with the water, everything. How simple was that? It's all going to go into the pan. Now, into a 350 degree oven for 30, 35 minutes. I will start checking at 25 just in case. And it's just like a regular cake. Cake tester goes in, you know it's done. So, 30 to 35. Our sticky toffee pudding is out of the oven and it's cooled down a little bit, but it's not sticky yet. So now we have to make the topping. I've got a pan heating on my stove and I'm going to put in one stick or eight tablespoons of butter. Nice and hot, as you can see. A cup of light brown sugar and a half a cup of heavy cream. Now I'm gonna turn this down. I had it on way too high and it came to a boil and now I'm turning it down to medium low and I'm going to 
slightly boil it for about seven to eight minutes until it becomes thick. So that's going to take a good seven to eight minutes. It's been about seven or eight minutes and our sauce has gotten a little bit thicker. I've turned it off, it's still bubbling. Now what I'm going to do is I have my oven on a broil. I'm going to pour some of this on top of the pudding and the rest we'll save for topping later. And then we're gonna put it under the broiler for about a minute until it gets really bubbly. So there goes some. Just pour it over, spread it around. A little bit more, okay. The rest I'm going to pour into a serving bowl that we'll use to serve over separate portions later on. Looks delish. So about um, one minute under the broiler. And that's about it. It's nice and sticky. I'm going to serve up a piece. Now you can cut this uh, into squares if you wish. Ooh. I can see all the dates in there. I'm going to put a little bit more sauce on top because we want it really sticky. And then a good dollop of whipped cream or in my case, vanilla ice cream. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. You should smell this. It really smells wonderful.